Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video and this week's video is all about learning perspective. As a scientific artist it's something that would be super, super useful for me to learn but I really struggle with it. I've not been artistically properly trained and it's just something that I really can't I haven't sat down and had the patience to learn. I recently went drawing with Tim Pond. He was trying to show me some awesome tips for perspective and when that was really, really handy, I just realized it is something I'm just gonna have to practice a bit more. And learning it in an aquarium is quite difficult because the fish are constantly moving. So today, I am here in the absolutely amazing Edinburgh and we, well, I am here and you are coming along with me because I think there is something that is definitely, definitely gonna help me learn perspective. What a glorious day to be in Edinburgh to try and do something. So come along with me and we're going to go try and learn perspective. Mm. I am at the National Museum of Scotland and you're just about to see why this place is going to be perfect for me to practice perspective on awesome marine creatures. If you haven't had the chance to come here already, this is the National Museum of Scotland and it is absolutely incredible. But this amazing architecture isn't why I'm here. I am here because of this room. ton of life-size models of marine creatures that I can draw and explore from three different levels at a ton of different perspectives. The good thing about a museum is they're not going to move. Um, so I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. start with one of the most hilarious creatures to be drawing 3D and in perspective, the ocean sunfish. Because it's, it, it, it's basically 2D. It's the Mario of the animal world. It's a me, Mola Mola. Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to pick five species and I'm going to do quick, almost five minute sketches of that species in as many positions as I can. To not focus on the detail, but focus on getting the shape right. And uh, feel free to join in. I'm filming every perspective that I draw and then showing you what I sketch, but feel free to pause it, sketch it too, and then comment below um, or follow me on social media at Marie Mumbles and tweet me the uh, pictures that you are drawing from this perspective challenge too. And we can learn perspective together. We can do this. I really do want to reiterate this point. The kind of, the main reason I made this video is I wanted a resource where I could go and look at 3D perspective of different animals and I wanted that resource to be available to everyone and we can all kind of learn and draw together. The rest of this video is going to be the video of the angle of the creature I'm drawing and then it will be me sketching or my uh, quick video of what I have sketched. 
I really, really would love it if you guys would draw along, pick a couple of angles, pick a couple of perspectives, and really do let me know, tweet me. I would love a bit of motivation to keep learning perspective, and I would love to learn it along with you guys. So I hope you find this really useful and can get some experience drawing perspective um, from this video if you can't make it to the National Museum of Scotland uh, yourself.
been amazingly fun. I can't believe how many hours have passed and so quickly. Um, and I can't believe how much it hurts my head because I'm trying to get my brain to go through my arm to my hand to draw what I'm seeing there in here is still as difficult as I remember it and doesn't get any easier but really really good practice and I wish I could come back here and just keep drawing all the time so I'm going to try and come back at least uh, a couple more times at some point and I'd like to refill the pages up a bit more but honestly my brain is so knackered that I just need to call it quits because I'm like too too much thinking <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a great time. I hope you practice perfection too. Let me know how you get on and we can practice together and hopefully by this time next year they might be looking a lot better. Alright, have a good week until next Wednesday. Bye guys!